Ooh, hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and we have an absolute, we have an absolutely positively shocking bonus episode for you this week. Brought about by the idea that our normal, our normal morning, morning routine is just a, is just a little delayed today. So what we have for you today is the is a nice little spark of an episode that's. That's brought to you by the Wizard of Legend Build Ideas tab. AJL828 has presented a build called Fast as Lightning, where the theme is movement speed. As you can see, I have right about an ass load of it. And things that just attack quickly. So, as you can see, the starting... The starting robe is pace, because, again, the movement speed. I could have also chosen Venture, but I figured this would be more appropriate. Huh. Huh. Pardon me, I am just waking up, so it's going to be little breaks in the action while my brain adjusts. Now, again, I think I think this is mostly based on a pun about lightning. I mean, I don't know where, where anyone would have gotten the idea that puns were okay here. I mean, that's just a shocking revelation to me. All of the starting, all of the starting relics are lightning based and strike quickly. Imagine that. So we've got Bolt Rail, Volt Tracer, Dynamic Disarray, and Shock Assault, and Mercury Sandals as your starter because again, movement speed. Now this is being structured like one of the challenges, but it's not actually one of the challenges. So take that for what it's worth. I'm more or less doing it because it's fun and well, well as I as I mentioned before, it is it has been. I would like to start there, but that just seems too easy. No, thundering keep seems like the one that's going to be the most difficult. So we're going to start there, just knock it out, get it out of the way, and then move forward from there. And hey, look at that, Freya is number two. And then we've got someone who's going to take neutral damage to electricity right at the end. But I mean, she's also fast as lightning. And wouldn't you know it, her kicks are also quite frightening. Uh, uh, the obvious idea, starting starting at the Thundering Keep, is that this is the area where my abilities are going to be most resisted. And yes, that even includes the Living Courtyard area, because Atlas and his wounds will, will resist the damage, but they won't resist the shock effect. So even there, I feel I would have an easier time than starting him than starting here. So this is just a good way to get the worst, get the worst of it out of the way, and hopefully build ourselves up to something, you know, hopefully special, hopefully magical. Who knows? Maybe lightning will strike. <laughs> good job, me. Really thought that one through. Like I said, I am kind of just waking up, and in case you're wondering, Dark Sage, you've been up way earlier than... <sighs> Pardon me. Way earlier than... Ah, sorry, way earlier than 10 a.m. before. What gives? First of all, it's a day off. Not just not from YouTube, but an actual day off from work. I'll since this is being structured like a challenge, let me look to see if I can pick up Frost Scimitar. No, not allowed. It's a shame, I kind of wish it was allowed, I would have picked it up. But yeah, it's day off, and... I mean, I guess I don't really need any other justification than that. It's my day off, I didn't have anywhere to be, didn't have anywhere to go. 
<laughs> Suckers. And that's what you get. Um, okay, so I was trying to be cool there, but clearly did not think that through very carefully. All right, let me look over the let me look over the list here. If anything here is okay. <sighs> Oh. No, nothing here is okay, unfortunately. Now, I don't plan on making every episode challenge-like, because sometimes it's nice just to have an episode where you can just go in and... go in and just grab stuff and just be like, Hey, raha, wa hey! These episodes where, you know, where I have the harsh restrictions and whatnot, first of all, they're thematic, and this goes to my theme runs as well. Even though I don't restrict the relics I can pick up, I work within other restrictions, and I do that because, I mean, before I started recording Wizard of Legend, you guys have no idea, just run after run, I was, I was like a madman, I was a machine, kind of like a Terminator. And I just got really used to the game and how it works, like to the point to the point where I needed a little extra challenge. And you know, barring barring hard mode, I figured one of the best ways to do that is to give myself little thematic challenges. And when I just ow, when I discovered that the Wizard of Legend Discord actually has themed challenges, kind of like I was already thinking about doing for myself. It was just a match made in heaven right there. Coupled with the idea that I would that I was going to be running a YouTube channel, and it all just sort of made sense. I would take that to sell to Cremeyer, but I am disallowed from picking up things that aren't on this list. It is not permitted. Therefore, I cannot pick it up to sell. The way I look at what relics are permitted and what which ones aren't is, yeah, if you don't remember what it is, you can pick it up to see what it does, but then you have to immediately put it back down. And the way I look at it, if I, whoops, I made whoops. If I were to acquire some sort of benefit from the item I would be picking up, then unfortunately that's a no-go. Alright, well I can pick up Family Seal, which is nice because that's gonna help me well help me out with building up my signature. For a run like this, Analytical Monocle would just be perfect, but it's not in the list, so... Ripley, Ripley, Bim. Oh yeah, that's a dead end. Good job, Brain. You're really, really show, really pulling your weight there. I mean, I pull your weight every day and I stand and say to talk back. Another dead end. Okay, this is this is starting, this is starting to look like you know thundering peach dead end drive. But one thing I am appreciating about the base build here, even though it is all one element, is that it's a very balanced build. I've got a good I've got a good dash. I've got a a nice mid range. Not that I misplaced that guy, I was just very... Hold on, 
on anything here that's allowed? No. Yeah, and if they're... If the rules weren't in place, I'd be pretty quick about buying either Wind Sentry or Violent Thornstorm. And it's not to say that I have a problem with the two Enhanced Arcana that were on offer, it's just those are the two that I think would... that I think would benefit from the idea of this build the most. Especially if I were allowed to pick up the Analytical Monocle. But yeah, as I as I as I have just said, to me these these restrict these over seemingly overly restrictive runs are a good way for me to add a little bit of challenge back into the game. That that feeling of difficulty that was there when I originally picked up. And now that the game is much more feature complete and there's a lot more to it, it just it just feels that much more interesting doing the challenges now that there's. I mean, it sounds weird to say, but now that there's so much more to work with. Make me shine, sir. Woo! Yeah, I'm so quick that the frame rate has having a hard time keeping up with me. I believe that is a level of speed that is known as awkward. Oops. You know, if that had hit that guy, I'd have been just fine. And as per usual, Iris is in one of her moods. She doesn't want to sell me the enhanced version of the Arcana I already have. Ah. That was seriously just me not paying attention to my surroundings. Just me. Just me. A hint from me to you. Don't do that. Always pay attention to your surroundings. I cannot pick up the conch shell, can I? Oof. I need to do a normal run just to cleanse the palate. And here's the thing. All of the restrictions are fun for me because it gives me a... It gives me a way to play the game while adding in a level of difficulty for myself outside of just playing on hard mode. Hold up. Oh, oh goodness. I know, it's shocking that I made it this far. I'm the one doing the lightning puns around here. You guys just have to, are just going to have to sit on the sidelines. I know I'm being a real live wire right now, aren't I? Oh yeah, this is going to take a while. Alright, get comfortable. I think I'm, right now, I think I'm performing about the equivalent of throwing grapes at them. I'm not even doing enough damage to get my, to get my signature up, up and ready. Nothing, but... 
I knew this was gonna take a while, but this is ridiculous. There, finally! Oh my goodness. What was that, six cycles? Lord. That might not seem like much to the average person, but to me, that's a lifetime. That's a, you must have very short lifetimes. Do not take literally! But as much as I enjoy the challenges, sometimes, it, sometimes it's nice just to be able to do a regular run to remind myself of what the challenges are in service to. You don't want to be doing challenges all the time. That can be, that can be draining in and of itself. And no, that doesn't mean that I find that doing the just regular runs is draining. I, well, I just mean that... You know, in the grand scheme of things, it would it definitely pays to understand that the challenges are there to add to what I already enjoy doing. But if you if you spend all your time doing that one thing, then what is it in service to? So it, it's nice to just do some regular runs, just to just to keep just to keep things light, you know, kind of light and fluffy, so to speak. If that makes any sense. Shock Nova is not allowed. What about Ring of Recycling? Nope. Iris will be nice and actually sell me something I can use. My guess is no, because RNGs is very rarely on my side. Okay, that was not cool. Ever a short straw to be described from, or to be derived from my from my existence, could be the idea that fortune rarely ever smiles upon me. Like that, that's like a character trait that I drew that I drew when my character sheet was originally rolled up. All right. Well, what sort of benefit did you get from taking that? Um. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Oh, you think you're cool because you have arrows. By the way, there are other allowed... There are other allowed relics in Arcana, but I'm just not finding them. I mean, outside of Family Seal. Please tell me I can take Surefire Rocket. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Finally, something else that I can actually take and manifest into something. Not allowed to take any fairies, though. Let's deal with that. Oh, whoops. Come on! Look at this side swiping asshole. Did I even visit Iris's shop or what or was I was visiting that place as inconsequential as it usually is, and that's why I don't remember going there. I 
Because I know the portal is available. I must have gone in there. Did I just not see anything of use? Oh no, of course. Of course, because Iris thinks it's funny to never help me out with what I already have. And on these challenges, I have a... about the same, same chance as finding one of the permitted arcana as I do of finding a winning lottery ticket, so... As much as I would like to see, like, Shearing Chain or Tracer Barrage or Bubble Barrage, I'm well aware that the opportunity of that happening is pretty much up a rat's ass. And here, I would love to take Crimson Clover. Ugh, I'm gonna need to do some regular runs at some point or another. I'm getting my, my strategic mindset and the one that's telling me what I should and shouldn't be taking for a run like this is getting overloaded with with men, with things like, you know, that would really be what you need to make this run pop. Hey, critical hit chance, that would be perfect for this run since you're striking so quickly. And every time I just kind of let out a little sigh and go, I know, Brain, and I know. Which, no disrespect to AJL, I I did this of my own volition. I know you wanted to see this, and I'm more than happy to provide, but I think I might need to just do some regular runs pretty soon here. But I've been thinking about a few... You and your fucking Seekers, no. Okay, my own poor aim aside, you need to go. Okay, we're playing on we're playing on a new difficulty level. Summoner must die. Okay, I just uh... Alright, is there any chance that there's something here I can use? I can use spell thief socks. I don't really know what that's going to do for me, but hey, Spell Thief sucks. Whee! Spell Thief reminds me of the Arcane Trickster class, which I'm currently running a character on the Arcane Trickster class. I actually just rolled up the character, and... Oh, whoops. Sorry, I accidentally kicked something I shouldn't have. Fortunately, not very hard. Iris, why do you hate me? Like, what is the meaning of this? You could at least sell me one of the things that I could actually use, but... No. No. You give me nothing. Also, Obsidian Cascade is one of the allowed arcana. Did I actually see that and completely miss it earlier? Because that, that would be just like me complaining about something that was actually completely within my control. I think what happened is kind of like the same thing that happens when I see a well of Sharon in Hades. I, my brain processes it after I've already left the room and then I go, oh crap, I could have had a benefit. And my brain is like, yeah, you could have. Maybe you should slow down. But I could also just not be remembering correctly. Also, thanks controller for making me use shock assault against the wall there. Really really one of, one of your finer moments in, in, you know, just screwing with me there. I really appreciate that. I told you, this is Summoner Must Die. Summoner Must Die, which game which you kill all the summoners, because they are jerks. No offense to Rydia or Echo Carol. You two are good summoners. These summoners, on the other hand... Mm -mm. No. <laughs> and at least what I have right now will be effective against her, but... 
I would be, I'm very, I'd be remiss in my duties if I didn't tell you that I'd be Okay, well that was bullshit. Maybe I should have started with Venture, so I would have had some sort of, like, bonus damage. I'd feel a little bit, a little bit less like, like I'm fighting with paper here. Can't take that either. The game was like, hey, he said he was doing a challenge, so we're making it interesting for him. Trust me, if there's one thing you can count on from me with when it comes to these when it comes to these types of runs, it's that I will never find anything I can actually take. Like the the charge one is like the only time in which something showed up that I could actually use. But that's also kind of why I wanna I wanna do a non-challenge run, maybe even a few of them, because I am, I feel like I am getting horn swoggled just a little too much. There's a word you probably don't hear you hear every day. I'm not gonna say that it's a word that's in my everyday vernacular, but I mean I use it often enough. It's worth some sort of a word. Oh, that was stupid. Perfect. <laughs> Ugh, pardon me. I'm not going to be able to save that until the next wave, so... Oh, come on! Really? Okay, need to go back and get that healing potion now, for without it, I shall surely perish. Because I am not exactly on top of my game right now. Oh, finally you allow me to pick that up. Oh, have mercy, your grace. But, of course, no other Arcana to improve my offensive capability. Likely no other Relics to improve my offensive capability either. As a matter of fact, I already know there aren't because I've, I've seen... I've seen Andrew's shop. No, there is nothing there that's going to improve my offensive capabilities whatsoever. I would mention that I feel embarrassed by how poorly I'm doing right now, but I'm sure some of you are already feeling secondhand embarrassment. This is far from my greatest performance. You guys ever die? Christ, how much HP do you have? Yeah, we got a little baby Yasmod over here. 
And by the way, for those of you who are unfamiliar with that name, Yasmat is a optional boss in Final Fantasy XII that had... God, what was it? 50 million HP, I believe, was the actual total? I mean, on top of that, it just also wasn't an easy fight. Like, it'd be one thing if it was just, you know, the actual definition of Blitz Sponge. But no, it was actually also just a difficult fight. And it also, it doubled its level halfway through the fight, which meant its offenses and defenses all got better, and yeah, it was a real pain of a battle. I can't take any of this. Because the fates are ever cruel to me and have decided that I get nothing. So not only am I playing particularly poorly, but I get no reprieve from that either. playing really poorly, I've somehow managed to make it this far. Hey, Iris, you've got to work with me here. There's got to be another Arcana that I can pick up. You know, as much as I'm liking how quickly my signature is charging up, I am just a little put off just by how poor my luck is. Maybe another reason why I why I wouldn't mind just doing some regular runs, because then I don't have to rely on luck at all. I can just pick things up as they as they come along, you know. Come what may and what have you. I guess what I'm getting at is that I could use a palate cleanser. I already said that once, but I figure it's worth reiterating for those who don't understand what I'm on about. that, but there's nothing else I can take. So, I mean, I guess she eventually got around to upgrading my Arcana, but it's... God, I was hoping that when the update dropped that made it so that she carried two, that she carried five Arcana instead of four, I was thinking, oh wow, this is such a better chance that I'll actually have, that I'll actually be able to get myself powered up, but... No, it was just a fleeting dream that dies upon waking. Nope. Nothing here I can take. You know, unless I missed Midas' dagger in there, but no. No, I didn't. Like, this isn't even a fit unofficial challenge. I could just break the rules whenever I wanted, but I'm not going to do that because I am not that kind of person. I I accept the challenge and I will and I will beat it. Well, I will beat it as intended, even if as intended is with nothing with nothing to your name except for the clothes on your back and the spells that you started with. Because again, why would anything happen that would actually benefit me? 
I know I'm complaining a lot. I apologize. I'm complaining mostly because, one, it's nice to have an outlet. Two, it just seems like this sort of thing happens to me like an almost unprecedented amount. Especially kind of seeing it, sorry, especially coming as it does from the lot of you who say that you have no problem picking picking up stuff and getting getting good fortune on your side. And I'm I'm sitting here going with going, how have I upset the fates this badly? Have I zoomed? Did I say something about their mother? Is that, is that why they... Is that why they choose to torture me at, at every turn? Hey, whatever I said about Nyx, I apologize, but you know... This doesn't. This doesn't seem like the fairest way to to handle out your, you know, quote unquote punishment. At this point, even I'm not calling it punishment. I'm just calling it you're a douche. All right. I'm fast as lightning. You're a turbocharger. Let's see, huh? Let's see how this works. Um, excuse me, dog butt. Alright, so apparently now, because I just called the fates douchebags, now, even if I dodge properly, I still get hit. That turns I did not dodge properly. That was on me. Of course, her recovery time is shorter. See? Fast as lightning. Her kicks literally are fast as lightning. And infuse with the power of flame. God, 198 damage. Hey, look at that! I can't take that either. Alright, well, I mean, we made it this far. Nope. No way I'm backing down now, but I was lying if I said I wasn't just a little uncomfortable with how poor my luck has been over the, over the challenges lately. And I know some of you said something along the lines of that's that's why I like to reset until I get a good start. Uh, I'm just not that kind of person. It's one thing if I'm doing something that's just gonna take forever, like you know, if there's a way to get a specific charm in Monster Hunter per se. Dark Sages, you can be unusually gassy. What, what did you eat for breakfast? Well, so far I've had a big helping bowl of nothing, followed followed by the air that I'm breathing. Alright, last chance for- oh, he, she, she actually stopped Bubble Barrage. What strange day is this? But of course, no other relics. Give me that. I have all this money, let me at least do something with it so I can feel like I've earned something this run.
but I do find it a little bit strange that for the challenge stipulations, nothing nothing critical hit based is in there, despite the fact that it's a run based or, or that it's a you know build based upon things that attack quickly. So you know critical hits seems like it would be the perfect way to go. I feel like I'm working at such a disadvantage here. Which, yes, that's the idea of the challenge. You're supposed to overcome the challenge because, by all rights, you are working at a disadvantage. But I don't feel like I'm working at a fair disadvantage, I guess is what I'm saying, because I've just got so little that actually functions together. But I'd be lying if I said that wasn't something I was used to. Even even in my normal runs, normally I just get I just get a basically jack and shit, and I just have to find a way to make it work. But I mean that's that's what I keep saying about being resourceful when it comes to roguelike games. That's that's where it's that's where it's in and where it all comes together. You don't know what you're gonna get, you're just being given a big sma a big heaping helping of pizza toppings, you have to figure out what you can make with them. Or what kind of pizza you can make with it. And the issue that comes in with the challenges is that the answer is the answer to that question isn't, or the question isn't, what kind of pizza can you make of these toppings? The idea is, here's here's a limited number of toppings. Let's see, you, let's see you make something from this. Which again, I want to I want to stress, I don't have a problem with that. It's just for some reason, I I just get eternally screwed over by these things. Oh, come on! Hey! God damn it, Volt Tracer, you screwed me up! There we go. Alright. Next Wizard of Legend run we do after this is probably just going to be a normal run. I've been meaning to do a spotlight episode on Ignition Rush because I now have a lot of I've gotten a few comments saying, oh, but I love Ignition Rush. And it makes me wondering if I'm either A, missing something, or B, it's just not necessarily my style. So... With the exception of Ignition Rush, I'm leaving everything else open because I think I just need a break from challenges for, you know, at least a run or two. Because challenges have not been being kind to me, so I think it's time for me to be kind to myself. It's like I it's like I always like I always say when it comes to things that have to do heavily with RNG, sometimes the only thing that you can trust is yourself. But, I think that's going to about do it for today's run, so thank you guys very much for watching. This was just a nice little bonus since we don't have a whole lot going on today. So, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave a comment, you know, the usual YouTube dance. Hit me up on Discord, and hey, don't forget about the poll this week. Last I checked, and it was a little bit ago, I'm not going to lie, it was actually neck and neck between the two participants, so... By all means, I'm, total, I'm totally down to see who wins. I'm looking forward to showing you the difference between the two builds. 
And at this point I'm rambling, so I'm going to shut up and go get some grocery shopping done. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.